It is what it is. Has anybody ever been driving into Del Mar and seen a hot air balloon on fire crashing into the ground? <laughs> well, there's a lot of people out there that are quick to pick up your cell phone and call 911 and say, there's a balloon on fire, it's crashing the ground, it's an emergency, you gotta come, come, come. And what they don't know is that it's just a routine flight. That's what happens. There's several steps that the crew and pilot take to have a successful launch. And uh, there's four main components that go into this operation. You have to have a good, experienced pilot. We have to have good, strong crew. We have to have passengers. And we have to have good equipment. Once we have all that, the process starts. First thing we'll do is we'll meet up with all the passengers and crew and pilot. Where we meet is in Encinitas, uh, right over by the Ralphs and Trader Joe's there. And we meet now at like 2.30 because the time change. So once all the passengers come, we'll sign them all in. We'll have them sign their liability waivers. And then while we're doing that, the pilot will set up this uh, helium balloon. And he'll let it go and he'll watch it for about 10 to 15 minutes. And what he's looking for is at different altitudes, the wind travels in different directions at different speeds. So that's what he's looking for to get him to his destination. So. He'll look at that, and then once he has a good idea of where he wants to go, where he wants to launch from, we'll load up all the passengers and we'll go to the launch site. Um, once we get to the launch site, he'll put up another one of those test balloons, and he'll watch it just to make sure that we're in the right spot, because down is super congested, and it's getting harder and harder to fly down there with all the new housing and uh, buildings. <clears throat> so once the pilot says, all right, this is it, um, start dropping the equipment, the first thing, Actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble the aircraft. So there's uprights that go in these posts right here. We'll put um, the uprights, there's four uprights, we'll put those on, and then we'll put the burners on top. And then there's cables in the basket that will connect to the uprights for the carabiners. And then the whole basket is assembled by then. So first thing we'll do is we'll unstrap everything. We'll unstrap the balloon, we'll unstrap the fans, we'll unstrap the tarps and we will strap the basket. Once we do that, we'll yank the basket off onto the ground and we'll rotate it 90 degrees and then we'll lay it over. And then once we do that, we'll take the tarps out, we'll lay out tarps so it protects the balloon and uh, just for it to make it uh, clean so we don't want it to like, roll around in the dirt so we lay out tarps. Once we do that, uh, the crew guys will take off the fans, put them on either side of the basket and then we'll get the balloon and we'll carry it down into the basket. Once we do that, we'll open up the bag and we'll take the mouth of the balloon with the cables and we'll bring it to the basket so we can connect it. And then once we do that, so we'll bring the cables up, we'll connect it to the burners, fasten up the carabiners, and then the crew guys will drag the balloon straight down And this is the first stage right here. This is the layout. All these balloons are stood up. These two are cold inflated, these two are hot inflated, and this one's laid out. So this is the first stage. So once we drag out the balloon, we'll spread it out. So when we turn on the fans, it'll pack the balloon evenly. So once we do that, we're ready for the second stage. We're ready for the cold inflation. And we like to like start up the fans about like an hour before sunset because we'd like to get the sunset in. So the pilot would be like, all right, crank up the fans. We'll crank up the fans. The fans start running. There's two guys on the mouth holding up the mouth so the air can go in and start packing up the balloon. And then there's one guy up top here, and he's connecting. There's a parachute in the balloon that he has to connect to the top with Velcros because if he didn't put that in, the air would just go right in the balloon and then go right back out the top. So once that's all secured, the balloon is going to start to rise up. It's going to start to get cold packed. And once it's just about to lift off the ground, that's when the pilot will get behind the burners, and that's when the hot inflation starts. These, there's pilots right here that are just about to add heat to have these pages stand up. So uh, the pilot will be behind there. He'll turn on the propane tanks. He'll spark the um, pilot light, and then. They'll start adding heat, the balloon will start to rise up, and then 
the pilot would have to cut the fans, cut the fans. <laughs> the crew will cut the fans, drag them behind the trailer. Once the balloon stands up, we'll call over the passengers, come on over, they'll hop in, they'll be waiting in the basket. And then uh, we have a tie-off line that goes from the basket to the trailer because there's a lot of like swaying around before it's like a rocking boat before we actually take off. So once all the passengers are in, we've taken all their pictures, pilot's ready to go, uh, we'll, the pilot will be like, wait off, wait off, we'll get all our weight off, we'll cut the tie off line, and then they're off. But uh, there's one thing we forgot, we forgot the cooler full of champagne. What's a balloon flight without that, right? So we'll load that baby up there, so the passengers can have a good time up there, and uh, that's pretty much the whole setup. Um, so now you know when you're driving into Del Mar and you see a balloon up in the air, it's not on fire. It's not some scary demon dropping out of the sky about to crash. We're just doing a routine flight. Kind of missed my PowerPoint here, but so this here's the cold inflation and then the hot inflation, and that's it. Thanks, Steven. You're welcome. See what you learned in this class?